What is the difference between a spiritual reading and a psychic reading by Cherokee Billy? The average person has never really heard about a spiritual advisor or spiritual reading, but ask anyone about a psychic and they know what that is. The difference between the two is enormous. In this video, I hope to clarify for you what the difference is and help you understand which service might be best for you. What type of guidance are you looking for in your life? Are you seeking entertainment? Psychic. Are you seeking self-empowerment? Spiritual. Do you want someone to give you the answers to your situations? Psychic. Do you want some help in learning how to access the connections to your higher self to discover your own answers? Spiritual. Do you want someone to foretell your future and for you not to have to take responsibility? Psychic. Do you want to learn how to create the future outcomes you desire? Spiritual. A spiritual advisor has studied spiritual teachings extensively and usually are certified or ordained ministers. They are intuitive and have the ability to see into the future. They do not use tarot or oracle cards as their answers come to them directly through spirit. What makes their readings different is that the client is interactive, not just passive waiting for an answer. The client is being guided to use different spiritual tools to bring about the result that they're looking for. This should be treated as counseling or therapy as well as spiritual. Spiritual guidance can be harsh at times, but far more direct. The goal is to help the client reach a higher level of enlightenment and not be dependent upon someone else for their answers. The client needs to take responsibility for the situations that are currently being experienced. It can awaken dormant emotions, which can be very painful, or can also relief, release waves of anger. This may not always be easy for the individual. These emotions can be used to unblock areas that have been holding back the individual. If one is sincerely following a spiritual path, then they must take responsibility for the good and the bad that is occurring in their life. You cannot always be blaming someone else for your circumstances. Psychic readings are beneficial when you have not awakened and are not quite ready for walking a dedicated spiritual path. Psychics can be helpful in pointing out areas of possibilities that you could either move towards or back away from based upon using your discernment. The information they provide can be used as a guidepost. It's important to remember that you always have free will to make the necessary adjustments in your life based on the information received. Most of the time, psychics will give you the most probable scenario that can happen to you based on your personality and individual energy at the time of your reading. They feel the details of your life whether it is the past, the present, or the future, and give you insights to help you to make a sound decision on your life. Unfortunately, many people want the psychic to tell them exactly what to do, and in doing so, they are giving their power over to someone else, and that is not advised. Once a person awakens and begins to see their life not so much as a victim of some predetermined destiny, but as one who has control of the outcomes, then they require spiritual guidance to assist them to move forward on their path of enlightenment. In summation, if you're interested in quick superficial answers to your life, go with a psychic reader. If you want more depth, meaning, and would like to discover who you are, where you came from, and what your purpose is in being here, consult with a qualified spiritual advisor. True and lasting healing can only come from within you and your own divine connection to Source. Spiritual advisors can help you to look in directions that may help you move forward on that journey. My goal is to help people on their path and give them guidance 
That's why I call myself a spiritual advisor and not a psychic. Yes, comma, I can do psychic work, but I do not feel it gives the empowerment that spiritual guidance provides. I'm always happy to answer people's questions as long as they allow me to give them the spiritual guidance and counseling that can help them the most. Now that you understand the difference between a spiritual reading and a psychic reading, you can choose which type of help would benefit you most. Many thank you for listening to my video and make sure you click a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can find out more about my services at my website or you can call me. My goal is to help you on your spiritual path and help you to grow as a spiritual being. Your soul does not keep time, it merely records growth. Many blessings, Cherokee Billy.